So, dear learners, uh, in this particular uh, video, uh, we will we will be discussing uh, uh, three um, questions over here as a part of uh, frequently asked question. Uh, the very first question is, uh, what are the uh, costs of software engineering? And second question is, uh, uh, what are the best suitable uh, techniques or methods for software engineering? And third one is, uh, how the web has made uh, the difference? How it has brought the difference in our software engineering uh, concept? Okay. So, these are the very small few uh, three questions that we are going to discuss in this particular video. So, let us start with the first question here. So, what are the costs of software uh, engineering? So, anyway, uh, we know that uh, uh, we are going to use a software engineering um, where we are going to develop uh, the software with high quality and not only with respect to the quality is concerned, we need to look into the, the cost of the software to be developed that is also very important how much budget or how much money that we need to uh, invest uh, during the overall uh, the de development of the software. So, as you know that uh, whenever we will start developing any software, it has to undergo four different uh, activities uh, that is uh, software specification, software design and development and uh, software validation and uh, software maintenance. So, when we need to carry out these four different types of uh, activities as a part of software uh, engineering, okay. then what about the cost, how much money that we need to spend across all these different uh, activities are concerned. Okay. So, just have a look at here. Uh, normally, we used to say that uh, roughly around 60 percent of our software costs are what? Development cost and 40 percent for what? Testing. This is and uh, always do remember um, this cost of the software always depends on the type of the software. That is also very important. Okay. So, it, it, it always depends on the type of the software for what purpose the software is going to get developed okay. and also uh, there are many critical factors uh, like uh, dependability, security, safety, reliability based on all these things the software cost may vary th th that is also very important okay. and for what type of application that we are developing the software all these things will always ma matter um, for this uh, cost. Okay. So, in generally what we can say that uh, the overall development cost will be around uh, 60 percent development in the sense it includes uh, uh, the requirement specifications and design and uh, development. Until you develop the code um, uh, to create an executable software it will be consuming around 60 percent and the rest of the 40 percent is for testing. Testing is nothing but what? Validation. Okay. So, where we are going to uh, check for the correctness of the software whether the software is intended to uh, provide all the functionalities, services and requirements as we have defined in the beginning. Because every software is going to develop with some particular um, um, what you call the requirements for some particular functionalities. So, after completion of the development, we need to test whether it is going to give all those functionalities as per our expectation or not. Our in the sense here the customers. Uh, uh, expectation. For that we are going to spend uh, um, the 40, sp uh, 40 percent and out of that uh, and we know that there are two types of software, generic software and uh, customized software and especially for the customized software is concerned the evolution cost, evolution cost is nothing but what? Maintenance. Maintenance is nothing but what? Change, um, changing or modification to the software. So, especially for customized softwares are concerned the evolution cost will be always high. This is, this is very important point that we need to um, remember because once the software is get developed for any particular application with uh, one particular uh, end user or a community of the end user is concerned, we cannot use that software without any modification for a longer period. Is it clear? It, it has to undergo the uh, changes. Why? Because we, we already discussed that our business process is changing, our technology is changing, our day to day life is also what getting get this get changed then automatically my software has to undergo what change. So, once the software is, uh, is to undergo change is nothing but what it has to be get evolved. So, automatically for evolution there will be a more uh, cost okay. and uh, also uh, in case of uh, 
the large scale softwares are concerned okay we always used to put more budget for uh, maintenance or that uh, evolution just now uh, uh, what we told okay even just have a look at here uh, the software cost will be more to maintain than it does to what develop especially with respect to what the softwares with uh, uh, long life long life we, we, we need to have a maintenance cost uh, it should be several times the development of development uh, cost if i am going to spend 100 rupees for development i might be spending three times of that means 300 rupees only for what maintenance why because once i will develop that software my plan is to use the same software for what next 10 years so when i am i have to maintain the same software for next 10 years okay i cannot use the same software with same technology okay so i may need to change with respect to technology is concerned or with respect to the functionality is concerned or with respect to the services are concerned there are so many uh, things that we need to change and if any problems occurs then we need to fix those problems these are all the part of what maintenance so then automatically um, we need to invest more money on what uh, the maintenance is concerned but finally the very important aspect is software engineering is always concerned with what the cost effective software development that, that also we need to keep it in our mind not we, we, our aim is not only we are developing a quality software we need to also keep it in our mind saying that it should be always what cost effective okay so let's uh, move to the uh, next question here uh, that is what are the best software engineering uh, techniques or uh, uh, methods see normally uh, just now i told that how uh, based on the type of the software that we are developing the cost will be changing similarly uh, for different uh, types of uh, software or system that we are going to develop uh, we will be using a different techniques okay a different uh, methods so when once we will get into a particular concept of software engineering there are so many different concepts are there okay either it may be structure oriented programming or object oriented programming is it clear okay function oriented so b b based on the type of the software that we are going to develop it, it, it always matters we, we cannot say that th this is the best suitable method or what um the technique with the, the, that that cannot be defined over here that, that's very important okay so whether i am going to develop a small scale or medium scale or large scale and what type of characteristics that the software should uh, involve what type of uh, functionalities or the services that the software is going to provide to the end users based on all these aspects okay so we need to choose the appropriate technique and uh, appropriate uh, method so that is why it normally it's not possible to say that uh, th this particular method is better than what the another okay this is regarding with uh, uh, the techniques and uh, methods that we'll discuss in depth in uh, uh, in the coming uh, chapters okay then the last question is uh, what differences has the web made to the uh, software uh, engineering so today all of us know that uh, um, web has uh, changed our lifestyle especially with respect to our uh, uh, it is uh, concerned okay today um, without internet without web we cannot lead our uh, normal life that all of uh, you know that okay so how this web has made uh, uh, the changes in our software engineering the very first one is okay uh, yeah, the web has led to the availability of software services and the possibility of developing what highly distributed service based uh, uh, systems so because of this uh, uh, web today um, the softwares are going to reach e each and every part of this world for every customer there is no doubt in that and the our today's our life has made so easy because of this uh, web okay and uh, even because of the uh, this web only today we are going to come up with a distributed service based uh, uh, system it's not mandatory that i should have the software in my own pc somewhere the software will be there but i can make use of the facility of that software sitting in some remote place on my pc so it means that somebody is providing that software as a service for me uh, it's not possible it is not compulsory that i have i have to buy that software software is owned by somebody else okay uh, how much software that i want to use based on that i can pay the money for them today all such things are there in the market you might have come across 
and also the web has led to important advances in what the programming language and another thing is software reuse and today because of this uh, uh, web applications and uh, um, web uh, development is concerned so many variety of uh, programming languages techniques technologies are coming up okay so hope all of you might have come up especially the ajax okay for internet based application that uh, we are going to develop today and also another important thing is software reuse this this is very very important uh, uh, topic as a part of software engineering okay so today software is not a single entity we have already told it is a group of n number of uh, programs okay where it is not it is not necessary for us to uh, design and develop every program from the scratch level today most of the uh, part of that software that we are planning to develop they might be already readily available okay then why you are wasting your time money and technology everything uh, once again developing the and designing and developing the same uh, uh, modules are uh, um, what you call the part of that software okay so that is why we are going with what software uh, reuse it means that uh, some some components of that software can be what reused which are existing okay and the integration is different that that will discuss it later but this web has made this particular uh, um, concept more popular nowadays that is software uh, uh, reuse okay so this is regarding with uh, how the web has made uh, some sort of difference in our software uh, engineering okay thank you